Well, Joe beat us to the shop this morning. <laughs> he's already got the column in the shop. Looks like he's making up some uh, some dunnage there, some cribbing to drive the forklift up in the shop. So we're gonna go get ready to set this column. We're gonna get the the uh, jam nuts leveled up first. Let me get my wrench, man, because some of those things are snug. We're gonna level up the uh, jam nuts first, as close as we can. And then we'll, uh, that way it'll be kind of level once we set the column down on there. Now there was a couple of those I ran them down as far as I could because they had the stud sticking up just a little bit okay. and it ran out of thread. So we got to kind of start with the... You know which one that was? I don't remember. I just started with this. I'm going to run as many as I can off this one at see, first. See this one right here? I think I got it all the way down. Yeah. yeah, see how tight it is? So you might have to start with that one. Well, you probably want to come up with that one, don't you then? A little bit? Because yeah, then we have no adjustment in it if we... <clears throat> if it's all the way down, we got zero adjustment in it. Now, in theory, if this one's level off this one. I was pretty close to my uh, tape measure level. He said that these are all pretty well level to each other. So he started across this way and then you just start with one and just go to each one and just try to level them all as level as you can with each other. So that should be pretty close. And Joe's got the idea of us maybe standing we're gonna stand the column up instead of choking it. He thinks we can probably straddle it with the forks and be able to just set it right on down there with the forks underneath it. So we're gonna give it, we're gonna give that a try. Probably. Putting the bolt through there and choking there, it's insulated, uh -huh. but I don't know if it's welded from the back side or what. It's got to be hooked. It's, it's probably welded to this plate right here. It's got to be. I don't know if that would hurt anything. Or, I mean, that would have been easy to drop a choker through there before it came through. Just stand straight up and load it do whatever you want to do. Yeah. This is the first time we've um, looked at the pin on the top side. I think what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and use a bolt right here in this hole. There's a cross hole and just Put a strap right here and actually just pick it up right from this pin i'm sure that this has slipped through this plate here and welded on the back side maybe a flange even so we're going to try it that way that way it'll be dead center you'll be able to rotate it and spin it around i think that's going to be a good way to to pick it up right there Come on to me. Hold it, hold it, you gotta go up. Now hold it right there. All right. You wanna walk around and check and see what? All right, hold on a minute. Looks like y'all doubted me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave that on there just for a second. Okay. Look at that. Everyone doubted my measuring skills down there. <laughs> Why not just make a pattern? Who was doubting you? Everybody. Not everybody, but there was some. I knew my tape measuring would work. Look at that. I'm glad that they cut those half inch big because they gave us just enough yeah. room. There was one stud. This one right here is right on the edge of it, so. <laughs> Have you 
you got your uh, you got your laser. Right. I'm gonna give you a wedge. Okay. Then we can kind of wedge it up where it needs to be and run the hood up too. I am thrilled that that fit on the first shot like that. I was hoping we didn't have to do any torching or grinding to get that to fit. All right. One more tap. There you go. It looks pretty good. Let's go to the let's go to the other side with it. That side that side needs to drop down just a touch over here. It's not much. Little bit. Little bit. Okay, right there. I'm gonna scale it, but um, I need to go get my ladder so I can get up a little bit further there. Same thing, one and 13 sixteenths. That's what we had on the other side. <laughs> I don't know how I landed on that again. Man, honestly, I don't know if we're going to be able to get any closer than that. Hey, then, like I mean, said, as we start tightening down, it's going to move a little bit. Okay. I don't think it, uh, I don't think it needs the lock washers right now. That's that's going to be for final torquing. They they it's said really to we can just kind of I, it down right all now. you got to do is just kind of tighten it down because it was saying set the grout and after the grout sets, then torque it. So we yep. can run the nut off, put a lock nut, and then torque it down. I just want to keep measuring this and make sure I'm not calling it too soon here. I'm getting one and 13 sixteenths there. And I'm getting one and 13 sixteenths there. Let me move it again. I'm gonna come to this other side. The instructions say actually to go every 60 degrees yeah. and go around it every 60 degrees and do it. Well, that's probably on each one of these fans. Yep. That level's pretty cool. I've never used one of those like that. Yeah, it's self-leveling. It's so handy. It's got a spot for a tripod on the bottom too. Yeah. So you can mount it up and get elevations. I've been watching the construction guys online. You know, they use them to, you know, put their, when they're putting their wood up or anything like that. It's so much easier than a plumb bob. I hit one and 13 sixteenths again on this side. It's <laughs> the third time in a row that we've got it one and 13 from the side. We might have to tweak it just a touch. Test mic. Okay. Test. Oh, I had it going the whole time. Oh, you did. Oh, there's <laughs> an outtake it. for you right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's already rolling. Yep. All right, we've got our column mounted. Dun, and, dun, dun, dun. and Abby said she timed it. How long did it take? Less than an hour. Less than an hour to get this up. Now that's not including the prep time that I had getting the studs straightened up the other day and getting those ready for us to drop it down on here. But it really did work out pretty good. So having that little stub coming out the top there with the hole in it, that was a ticket. We just took our, um, took our strap and uh, looped them together, put a bolt through it and was able to pick it straight up that way. And then it lined up. We had, it, when I was looking at it, this stud right here was touching the side of the hole 
and just as I was getting ready to, you know, do a little shimmying on it, it, it just dropped right on down there. And yeah, I think I missed it. Abby said that she had just turned the camera off whenever it dropped down. I, I guess she was, you, uh, she was getting ready to get a different shot, and then it, and it dropped down. But that's okay. I probably will be fired after this, everyone. No, I need, I need my assistant. All she right. does a great job. An but okay job. She does a great job. I'm not going to complain right there. And I don't think my viewers are going to complain either because we're getting it. We got it done. So what we're going to, the next step here, we've got all these just snug down. You know, we ran the, we ran the jam nuts up, you know, to the bottom there, make sure they were all snug. We snug the top ones down. They're not torqued, but they were just using a wrench. We just snugged them. So we're going to have Richard, the contractor, he's going to come in and I'm not going to be here to see this done because we're going to be gone. He is going to shoot the grout underneath that and get that all done for me. He said he's got the proper, I guess there's a some kind of grout gun of some sort that he can use to shoot the grout under there. So once we uh, get back from our trip, we'll be able to come in here, we'll retorque these properly, and then uh, Joe and I will go ahead and, and get the rest of the pieces uh, set up here and get it completed. So this is, this should be plumb. You know, we used our laser level and adjusted it, went all the way around. It's as close as I can get it by, you know, using the scale and the laser line on there. So the top beam, once we set that on there, to level that, you're supposed to shim it up on the, the I forget what this piece is called that, that sits down on here. Maybe it's the uh, mast, I'm not sure. But when the top beam sets on top of that, your I beam, you're gonna have two places you can shim it to get your, your I beam level. And that's how that will be done there. All right, so let's go ahead, since we got the camera rolling, we'll go ahead and show the, uh, the updates of what the other guys have been doing. They've been roughing out the electrical. So you can see we've got the big three-phase panel. This is a 400 amp three-phase panel that's going in. And I had them put receptacles about every six foot around the perimeter of the shop there. That'll be uh, the four, I think four gang box receptacles all the way around there is going to be a 50 amp receptacle over there for a welding machine i figured the front corner somewhere over here is going to be good enough we can have an extension cord if we need to if we do any kind of welding or fab we'll we'll just do it in this area and if not we'll have an extension cord where we can roll the welder to anywhere in the shop and if i need to i can have them install a 50 amp receptacle back here too for a welder that's no problem at all uh, and i think that's about it oh the lights, we decided on nine total of the uh, LED UFO lights. So you're, you're pretty much going to have like a run of three, three, and three. So there'll be, we'll have, we'll have two back here, one over the top of the mezzanine for Abby to use if she chooses. And then we'll have uh, six along this section right here. Have it pretty well, pretty well lit up. I think. That was about it right there as far as the updates. You can see here's a, this is a, a sub panel that they installed. This is gonna be for running the office area up here. You know, the, the electrical for this side. I think that's it though. I think that's about it. That's a big project done though. Yeah, I, I feel really good that this, this got done. So, you know, big thanks to Joe for helping get this done he's got the forklifts over there to make this stuff happen really easy really excited to see it done so i think that's it for this shop update and the uh jip crane install <laughs>